Watch you guys, got another video on an error message called user profile service failed the logon. User profile cannot be loaded. A friend of mine who's a technician has had it in his workshop twice now on two different machines and uh, I remoted in and fixed that error message for him. I'll make a quick video just to show you what to do and how to fix this issue, okay? So what you need to do here is reboot the system into safe mode. So what we're going to do is quickly reboot the system into safe mode, keep tapping F8 on reboot and that will get us into the advanced boot options. So let's do that now. Now once you're in the advanced boot options here you want to come down to where it says safe mode and push enter. I'm just going to let this load in. And now we're at the uh, safe mode. So we're just going to open up our registry editor here. We need to make some registry edits. So we're going to type reg edit in the uh, run bar there and click on reg edit. Now what we need to do here is we need to go to H key local machine. Then we need to go to software, Microsoft. We're going to come down to where it says Windows NT. We want to hit current version. And then we want to go down to where it says profile list. I'm going to open this uh, up by hitting the plus sign here. And uh, you should see here, let me just uh, quickly open this up a bit. Now you should see here some folders inside here. Now if you've got these two types of folders, these are the ones we're looking at. And as you can see here, if we look at a profile image, you'll see that it's linked to the account. Okay. So what we need to do is swap these around. So we've got a backup here. So what we're going to do is right click on this one. I'm going to rename this and just click in there and put dot ba and then the one that says dot back we're going to rename this and take out the dot back and then we're going to go to the dot ba and make that dot back like so come down to the one that we've just swapped around now the one without the dot back on it and there's a couple of areas we need to change here we want to go to ref count you can double click on this and we want to change that to zero click OK and also we want to come down to where it says state double click on that and we want to make that also zero click OK now we can close off our registry editor and reboot back to our desktop. Just let that load up. And there we go, your problem should now be fixed we should be able to go back straight into administrator account. Now if that doesn't work you can always uh, recreate a new user profile account and copy all your data from that profile to your new one and you should be back up and running if that doesn't work okay so I hope this helps you out my name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk if you enjoy these videos and you find them useful then hit the like button and also hit the subscribe button if you want to keep up to date when I upload new videos so thanks again thanks for your support bye for now